spent almost like a, my entire life in this beautiful place, surrounded by amazing faculty members and teachers and students. Um, I mean, how do you say goodbye to something like that? I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm still struggling to say goodbye. I mean, it was already hard enough that, you know, you're leaving a place that you've grown up in so much, and it makes it even a million times harder when you really can't say a proper goodbye. Fair warriors by the side will stand and always praise thy name and ever in our hearts and hands to help increase thy fame. The honor of a warrior pride brings forth Kids go through the district and then they go to college or they have a career. Uh, either way, they find themselves back in the Minasink district again so they can send their kids through the school. I think that's pretty amazing. What was it like being a student at Minasink Valley? It was such a wonderful experience to go to Minasink and have some of the teachers that I had. It was wonderful. I was in the band room all the time. Every single day, multiple periods throughout the day, I was playing music, I was interacting with others, I was interacting with my teachers who guided me into my career in music, so that was a huge force that shaped the rest of my life. Every single teacher that I ever had impacted my life from Minisync in one way or the other. Another super important and special part was the athletic department, uh, particularly the badminton tournament. The badminton tournament was extremely important to all of us uh, in the school, for sure. What is it like to be a teacher at Minnesota Valley? I think it's really cool to be able to teach in the same place that I went to school. Seeing some of my former teachers and having them become colleagues has been really neat. I just feel like I can really relate to my students. I see myself in them. I enjoy getting to come to work every day and try to influence them in a positive way. Every morning when you pull on to the main campus in Minnesink, it has the most wonderful, beautiful sunrise. And when seeing that sunrise always made it really nice. It just reminds me to start each day new and focus on the good and seeing that beautiful sunrise coming over the high school mountains there behind the high school um, just really starts my day off wonderfully. I also remember the friends that I met there and a lot of those same friends that I have were friends now and our kids are friends, but we all still keep in touch and that's something also very special about Menacing is the community and just the lifelong friendships that you make. I've been here now 24 years and what's most remarkable is from the very first day I walked in the door to yesterday. I've been part of the menacing family. I've been made to feel welcome and included. There was never a time of, oh, you have to prove yourself. This community accepts people as family as soon as they arrive and everybody contributes. I made these shirts for all the staff several years ago for Spirit Week and whenever I'm out in the community or at school it just makes me so happy because Minisync has been my home for 17 years. Uh, I've lived in the community for 15 of those years. I chose to raise my family here so I'm not just a teacher I'm also a mom and a community member. 
What I love about Minnesink Valley is the sense of community, the sense of family. I've been part of Minnesink since 1996 and it's the one thing that has stood out that we all come together, we all help one another, especially in difficult times. We are one Minnesink because we do look out for one another. I love that the people in our district work for the kids. And it doesn't matter whether you live in the district or live out of the district, that the main focus is our children. And that's pretty fantastic. This experience, it's surreal. This experience <laughs> is like nothing I've experienced in my 26 years of teaching. This is obviously a horrible time that we're going through. Um, we've never seen anything like this before. The world has completely changed for us. The, the way we um, educate, the way uh, the, the administrators administer, the, the way the school kids are not learning. Everything has, has completely, our world has been turned upside down, basically. This experience has definitely been a whirlwind. Um, there's been a range of emotions. I've had fears like everyone else. It's been um, frustrating. Um, I've, it's sad. So as a senior, quarantine has definitely been difficult in the sense that I know we've all been longing to make those last high school memories with our friends that we don't now have the opportunity to do, like go to senior ball and just have all, the last day all together. But I mean, right now we're just hoping for a live graduation. Well, the quarantine has been difficult at first, not knowing the impact on small businesses it has had here in the Minnesink Valley and Orange County area. It was difficult because there were many postponements of uh, parties, weddings, uh, bridal shower. It, it has been devastating. It has been sad for everyone um, in the community. Community, it's been extremely hard. Um, it's emotionally draining, physically draining, um, mentally draining. Um, we're exhausted. We're tired. It should be spring sports next door, and being right next door, it's hard for me it's to look at an empty. Um, school district, it's extremely hard and sad and uh, we struggle every day. The greatest challenge has been to balance work and family. Um, working from home uh, now is 10 times harder than it, what it used to be. Um, my days start pretty early and they go pretty late. Since then we have been navigating waters that we have never been through before so there's no guidance book, there's no one that we can call to talk to. So as building administrators, we rely on one another. Quarantine has been like a roller coaster. Some days are great, some days are just a little stressful. So it's hard, you know, my board and I, we, you know, we, we talk on a daily basis and we're always trying to think of things we can do for the kids or for the teachers. We're constantly trying to come up with ideas and it's just kind of now, you just have to grasp the fact that this is how things are and just basically let it go. I just want to thank our community for, for rising to the occasion because our, our children are learning. It's not, it's not the best of a circumstance, but we're, we're adapting and adjusting to um, what we're facing and I think we've done a pretty good job of that. We're, we've tried to be innovative in what we're doing. Uh, I, I love the fact that our kids are tenacious and have worked incredibly hard. Our families have been absolutely tenacious as well. I couldn't be any prouder of our community to rise up to the challenges that we all face right now. Teachers have been exceptional right from the onset. Without pause, they've reached out to one another, they learned new learning platforms, they learned new technologies, all of which will make us better educators. One thing that I am most proud of is when we started doing Google Meet, all of my teachers really jumped in with both feet. They were very excited to see their kids again. They wanted that FaceTime, they wanted to connect with them. They're available 24-7, basically. They haven't ever really shut down. It's kind of like asking me which one of my kids I love the most. And obviously, I can't say that uh, because I love them all the same. What I can tell you is I am extremely proud of um, the many groups that have worked collaboratively to do what they can to help others. I am just proud of the kindness um, that has come along from this situation. The administration has done an awesome job staying in contact with community programs like mine. The superintendent's office and the high school guidance team deserve a special shout out. They've done an incredible job to make sure that scholarships like Minnesink Youth Soccer Scholarship can still be offered to graduating seniors this year.
This is a very uncertain time, but having a consistent support system within my teachers has been really comforting. Being at home and getting to spend so much time with my family has been one of the most reassuring aspects of this whole situation. Missing teachers are amazing. Um, they really are. Um, their hearts are huge and they are just the most loving and caring um, teachers. My son's teacher um, shares pictures um, with the other students, so my son gets to see all his little friends, to see what they're doing while they're home, and that's really important. Um, he's only in kindergarten, so for him to still see his little buddies, I think is really huge in his growth. But some of them, which was wonderful to see, had virtual parties, so the cupcakes um, and the quantity were smaller, but that was fine because they still had their event, they were happy. And, and you have to think out of the box. It's a whole new way of um, accommodating your customers too. Um, the text messaging, the calling, and communicating. Everybody has been wonderful communicating on how I would deliver the cupcakes. Uh, my classmates have really been um, making this experience uh, much more toggle. Being senior year, I'm not gonna see a lot of these of them again, but really each and every single one of them has made a huge impact on my life and this, this doesn't take away any of the memories that I've made with any of them. I've had time to reach out to friends who I don't even see at school and have had really great conversations during this time that I wouldn't have had otherwise and even just with my family at home and spending quality time together, um, especially as seniors leave for college and um, we just have this time at home that we probably wouldn't have had otherwise with our busy school schedules and that's been really nice to just kind of sit back and relax. Oh, what's made this easier? Our menacing teacher's ongoing commitment to educational excellence. The teacher's quick action in setting up online classrooms and establishing scheduled connection times with the kids was terrific. They allowed our students to continue to learn in a classroom-like environment. The teachers have been supportive and really encouraging during a switch in scenery that could have been super stressful for our kids. The community has made this more manageable. They have been unbelievable. Um, they're so supportive. They've gone ab above and beyond to make sure that we're taken care of and in the same breath have, we're able to take care of other people. We're able to donate to so many frontline workers, essential workers, um, people that have very little means, seniors, I mean, the the involvement from the community has just been um, so humbling. But what has made it easier for me would have to be administration trusting me to do the right thing and parents trusting me to do right by their kids. And I also think that it's kids, the students have, have made it fun because I'm kind of having a great correspondence with them in writing about their experiences with this. Reading their work and stuff has made it much easier. I'd much rather be in front of them and having fun with them and um, reading Macbeth and beating each other up with swords, but alas, that just can't happen. The thing that has made this uh, bearable and manageable are the people that I work with. Um, Community-wise, I'd have to say would be some of my good friends. Um, couldn't do it without them. They came to my house and did a parade for me for my birthday, so I couldn't do it without my girls. I've had some amazing conversations with my teachers just over email. It's been just really nice that I've had teachers that reach out to me and genuinely want to know how I'm doing, and I've had some really amazing conversations with them too while I've been home, and that's just been really meaningful to me. Tell me about something memorable that's happened with your students since we left school. Yeah, it was every bit of a Monday, and my daughter said someone was delivering me food. So I ran to my car, I got some tip money. She said, why don't you come with me? We'll wait outside. And she was like, oh, here, here they come. And I was looking and I'm like, oh, I wonder, wonder who it could be. Who is it? I said to her and she didn't answer. And the next thing you know, I see another car and another car and another car. And it just <laughs> seemed odd that there were so many cars coming all at the same time. And, she goes, well, it, it could possibly be your class. Now, the feeling that I had was just like incredible. I can't even describe it. Immediately started to cry and get emotional because you see these things on the internet and you think like, wow, look at these great things these families are doing for all these teachers that are home, missing their class, missing their kids. 
and um, and now they're coming and they're doing this for me. Uh, I was completely shocked, um, overwhelmed, deeply touched, and it just reminded me why I love our community, why I love where I live, um, why I love the people that are here, and uh, it just to help help me to get through another day. Something my students have really seemed to enjoy are our Monday morning shout outs. A shout out can be earned by working extra hard the week before. It can be given because you did an enrichment activity. Perhaps you had extra special participation during a Google Meet. It's just a way to acknowledge that these sixth graders are working independently, managing their own time, and doing a great job. They say the old adage, an old dog can't learn new tricks. They're wrong. Um, this old dog has been teaching 30 years, and I've definitely learned some new tricks in the Google Classroom. My, my college English students are studying How to Tell a True War Story by Tim O'Brien, who's a famous Vietnam author. And we were able to take a virtual field trip to the Vietnam War Memorial in Washington, D.C., and also to the ruins of a temple in a city that's mentioned in the story. And for a moment, it really did almost feel like we were back in the classroom. This is Mr. Masari, family, this is my little baby waterfall. We're here in Stony Tail Falls in what is going to be a brief little field trip to the one of the nation's best deciduous forests. Uh, I made the video because I love nature, I love hiking, and I wanted to uh, share that with my students. I want them to see what I do and I miss them and um, I'm hoping that they saw a piece of in my life and I was able to show them um, what I do and relate it back to the lessons. Oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave. Even though we are unable to be together in a classroom at this time, we are still able to come together to create beautiful music which we can share not only with ourselves, but with the community as well. As the Building and Ground Administrator, this, this has been a very challenging experience. Um, having to redo uh, all the work that we do daily and uh, go back in and sanitize the buildings has been very challenging. They've worked very hard and they've been very, very accommodating to anything and any need that we've had. Um, they've done all they can to come back at whatever hours it takes to make sure the building is safe for everyone that's there. So my staff has made me the most proud. Well, myself, Cheryl, and our team have acted quickly. We knew we had to get the kids fed and together we paired up with the district. I'm most proud of the way, you know, all the employees um, acted and showed um, how much they care and want to do this uh, for the community. We've been working in the background to get Chromebooks into the hands of the community at large. Great team effort, and uh, we're very proud to be part of uh, helping the Minnesink community. And I have personally dropped off computers for people that um, don't have a car or transportation in order to get to the middle school to get the computers. And we want to make sure all of our kids are online, seeing their teachers, seeing their classmates. So to me, it was a joy to hand them over and to help them get onto their Google Classroom and be able to participate in the online learning that we have going on now. And just the kind gestures I've seen from neighbors and friends asking if people need things, dropping things off at ha on front porches because a family couldn't get to a store, or couldn't find something. It's been difficult to hear stories of people that I know that have been um, suffering through this, whether it's people that I know that are first responders or have been sick themselves. It's definitely a time where there are so many people hurting and um, everyone is in my thoughts and prayers. <laughs> This experience has brought us together as a community and as a family. We've had members of the community, and we've dropped off meals. The children are in the windows. They're cheering for the drivers. They're so excited to see everybody. They've made trinkets, masks, presents, cards, posters, left them in mailboxes, hung them on their, their porches, hung them on their fences. But it has brought us back together and bonded us and shown us what's really important. And this has truly, I think, brought the Menacing family closer together. Now we're in the 
midst of 3D printing protective face shield, uh, but by no means are we the only ones uh, doing this. It really has been uh, a community-based project because of the financial help um, that, uh, that our district members have given to us. Through a GoFundMe, uh, we were able to generate over $4,500 to help with this cause. And uh, so far, I think we've sent out, I think today is, is around the 2,900 mark. You know, it's just, uh, it's a good feeling knowing that, you know, we can help in, in a time uh, like this, where we're witnessing history. Uh, we have been fortunate enough to have different people send us pictures uh, that have been supplied with our face shields. Uh, and, and it feels it feels really good. It's it's nice to be able to see the things that we're making here you know, at school being sent out into the community to help with this pandemic. Uh, so that's that's a need. As a teachers association, we wanted to find some of the best ways that we could help our community through this. We thought by reaching out to our early literacy students, our kindergarten, our first grade, and our second grade students to provide them with tools that could help them to be the most successful is one way that we could help our community. As part of the Giving Tuesday Now Global Initiative, I participated in volunteering to organize bags of books and school supplies to hand out to some of our menacing second graders. This program helps to bring a little sunshine and literacy into the community. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of something that's bigger than myself. It is very difficult for me and my classmates to stay at home, but we are doing this because it is necessary to hopefully end this global pandemic soon. Parents created this program on Facebook called Adopt a Senior. Adopt a Senior is a program where our parents post something about us and other members of the community choose to adopt us. So my mom, of course, saw it and she posted something about me. It ended up being a great success. People saw it and started adopting me, so they brought me treats and stuff to make to cheer me up during this very difficult time, and it has helped me and all of my classmates. Our Board of Education, our faculty, our staff, our administration, our transportation department, our volunteers, so many people came together to make sure we could deliver over 60,000 meals in a month and a half. It's absolutely incredible. It truly defines our community, Minnesink Valley. One of the things that I have done is I have um, volunteered to help with the food distribution of our breakfast and lunch program. And that had a lot of moving parts and I was just one person that helped out with coordinating the food. I rode the bus and helped distribute uh, the food on that and that was really enjoyable because I got to see all the different places that our students lived and some of them came out and waved to us and it was such a joy to see them because we can't see them in person at this point. just take that hour or take that minute or sometimes just take that second as it comes and do your best with what you have and I hope to um, see you all again soon. We are going to get through this because we are braver than we believe, we are stronger than we seem, and we are blessed beyond measure. Because we have a collective goal, trusting, helping, and supporting each other's needs during this very difficult time will get us through this. There are a lot of naysayers in the world, but we don't have a lot of them here. And um, it's a blessing. It's a really a blessing to, to be part of this community. And I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. You know, together we are going to get through this. And together we'll overcome it. Nobody is in this alone and we're all going to get through this together. Um, I'm very proud to be working in this district. And I can't say enough about it. And I just encourage our community to find purpose in the midst of it. Even though it's a chaotic and crazy time, try to find purpose and meaning in even the small and little things. 
I've seen Minnesink go through tragedies and hard times, and we've always come together. So that's what keeps me hopeful. I have faith we're going to get through this, um, and that's what's been keeping me strong and our family strong, and um, we know that it's going to be okay. We all share an emotional connection during these challenging times, which has forced us to step up in our roles to be more responsible for one another. I am just so proud to be part of this community and just want to thank everybody for doing your part. There are, I think, amazing places where you could find joy and happiness in all of these times if we acknowledge those kind of good things that are happening amongst all this craziness. As I sit here, I am haunted by silence, longing for the days to be amongst friends once again and longing to hear the sounds of children back in our classrooms and in our hallways. I know that day will come soon, and I can't wait for it to happen. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are black. You'll never know then how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine. Garden, finish